Hi everyone. Um, I came out here today and I found Torella on top of this roof and I was wondering, Torella, what are you doing on top of the roof? Well, I heard a story from the Bible about a man who went through a roof and, and then he walked. He he went through a roof and then he walked? Yeah, he was sick and his friends got him on a mat and they took off the roof and they took it off and off and off and off and, and then, then they took ropes and they lowered him down into the house and then, and then Jesus said, he said, your sins are forgiven. Jesus, wait, wait a minute, Trilla. You said that, Jesus, that, that he got up and walked. How come if Jesus said your sins are forgiven, why did he get up and walk after that? Well, that's the part I was trying to figure out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why Jesus said, you yeah, get up, or didn't say get up and walk. He said, your sins are forgiven. Hmm, that is a really good question, Trella. And you know what? Let's maybe talk about that with the boys and girls, about what the Bible says about Jesus having the authority to forgive sins. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. I'll go get Rudy. Jesus was teaching to a very big crowd. The crowd was so big and guess what? It wasn't outside, it was inside someone's house. It was so squishy, there was no room for anyone else. There were four friends that wanted to help a friend. Their friend's legs couldn't work and they wanted to bring their friend to Jesus because Jesus has authority. He's the boss. He can do hard things that no one else can do and heal bodies and make them better. So Jesus was there teaching and these four friends came with their friend on a bed, on a mat, and they were carrying it along. When they got closer, they saw that the house was very, very full of people. They had an idea. They went up the stairs to the top of the house and now they were on the roof, on the outside. They started to dig away at the roof until the hole was big enough to lower their friend down. They got their friend on the mat they put some string on the mat and then they lowered their friend until he was right in front of Jesus. Jesus looked at the man and he said, son, your sins are forgiven. Now, why would Jesus say that his sins were forgiven? His legs were broken. Well, he said that because that is the real problem with all of us. We all have sin in our lives. We all choose our own way instead of God's way. We all have sinned and we need the forgiveness of God. Now the people in the crowd were looking at Jesus going, why would Jesus say your sins are forgiven? One, this man's legs are broken. Why would he say his sins are forgiven? Two, only God can forgive sins. And these people were not sure that Jesus was God. The truth is Jesus is God and he can forgive our sins. The people looked at Jesus and Jesus looked at the man and said, get up and walk. Now, you see, the real problem with everybody, no matter if our bodies are working or if they're not, we all have sin and we all need Jesus to forgive us. And guess what? Jesus can forgive us and Jesus will forgive us. 
We just have to ask him. Let's do that right now. Jesus, sometimes we sin. We choose our own way instead of your way. Please forgive us for our sins. We are sorry and we want to do better next time. Thank you that you forgive us. Thank you that you can forgive our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. This week, we have an activity to go along with our special story today. I hope you have a very great week and I'll see you again later. Bye everyone. For today's craft, you're gonna need a piece of rectangular paper for your mat, some strips of paper, your cutout of your man, some scissors, and something to color with. So the first thing to do is fold your paper in half, and then you're gonna cut strips from the folded half until you're almost at the top, but don't cut all the way to the top. Alternatively, for younger kids, they could just do little cuts up one side, now another one here, to create tassels. So next you're going to unfold your paper and you're going to weave your strips of paper through the mat. And then repeat that with all the remaining strips. So the last step is to draw a face on your man, draw any clothes that you want on him, and then you can place him on your mat. Activity. We're going to go on a treasure hunt today to find something of every color from the wordless book that you guys can put on display somewhere at your house so you can remember it all week. So for red, what did we find? Or for black, what did we find? We found a lava rock. And then we have red. What did we find for red? A Tupperware lid. And then for white? A plate ice cream cone top. Ice cream cone top. And next we have yellow. What do we find for yellow? Banana. A banana. And then what did we find for green? Cup. A cup. So there is our wordless book from our treasure hunt around the house. <laughs>